All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. You're looking at the Atomic Pie breakout board. Now, this is, I think, one of two of them. Uh, there's, there's another one out there that's a little bit different than this. You have a barrel connector over here. But uh, as you can see, this one here doesn't. We have some nice little feet here. Then we have a prototype area here which is pretty neat. We have the uh, area here for the uh, Nano. And if we flip this guy over, as you can see, here's where that goes. Your breakout board, five volts ground, five volts ground, 3.3 volts in ground. Then the black connector is where the uh, atomic pie sets in. Then you have your uh, connections here I think these are Phoenix connectors, or at least that's what I called them back in the day. <clears throat> we have uh, 12 volts on this side, ground in the middle, 5 volts on the right side. Then we have another ground point, 4 pin uh, Molex connector, 12 volt, 5 volt, just like a power supply, USB 2.0. Then we have a little jumper here harness that goes to the uh, atomic pie just like we do here and here these uh two uh two pin connectors are for speakers we have another ground then if we turn this this way you can see what these uh headers here are for we have a debug micro usb then we have a uh another three pin uh, connector here for uh, TXRC and ground then we have some more connections here for jumpers that get plugged into the uh, atomic pie then another ground and another ground and another ground then we have some LEDs now I powered this uh, 5 volts just to test it put a ground there five volts on that side and everything seemed to work fine so if we just get these jumpers out of the way which you really don't need I guess to hook up if you don't feel like it but that just sits down on there into the uh, GPIO pins then it comes with a bag of hardware to uh, mount your screws in so that's what it looks like with the uh, pie setting on there, mounted. So let's see how big this is. So if we get a tape measure here, let's get an estimate of how big this breakout board is. So it's six inches. But uh, we'll say four and three quarter and like I said before I think in my previous video the atomic pie is around four inches but about five and an eighth so uh, pretty cool little breakout board that's for sure this is my first one not that I'm going to really use it but uh, it just came included with this atomic pie so I could just use the breakout board to power the pie through the GPIO pins over here so figured I'd throw a little video together to kind of show you what it looks like and it just comes off obviously that gets plugged into there so hopefully that kind of helps out if you thinking about getting one of these so uh thanks for watching stay tuned for another one don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe button it really helps me out helps the channel out and uh that's it